Before we get into this video, I just need to tell you that there are epic spoilers for Lally's Game. The story Lally's Game, which is the second story in Lally's Game, which is weird. What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another summary video. Today we're going through the second story in Lally's Game, which is Lally's Game, which I've already clarified is a little bit weird. Guys, if you have seen the reviews for this book, then you will know that the reviewers said that this story was the weakest in the book. I think it's the best. <laughs> I genuinely think this story is incredible. A solid nine out of 10. Uh, there is kind of a twist to it and it is beautiful. It is so well done. So I wanna get straight into it. Uh, I have so many notes again, honestly. I have to, I have to now like label what part I am reading uh, so that I don't get confused. Anyway, we have Selena and Cade, a happy little couple, and they're getting married in a few weeks. Whoop, whoop. And they are actually moving in to a new place together. And when they do that, Selena actually notices something of Cade's that looks a little bit sus. And it is an old, mysterious, dirty trunk. And uh, Selena tries to inspect it, she tries to open it. But Cade is like, no, you're not opening this. Get away from it. Just... Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't let her go anywhere near it, really. When she asks about what is in it, he just says that it is stuff from his childhood. Hmm. About Cade's childhood, Selena actually finds a photo album, as they're moving, uh, of pictures of Cade at Freddy's Mega Pizza Plex when he was a child. So, my friends, this is the furthest in the FNAF timeline we are seeing anything, because if the Mega Pizza Plex was like built, well, it, let's say it's in the, like 2030, security breach is like 2035, a lot of people are saying. This takes place when Cade is grown up. So this is like in 2060 or something, 2060, 2070, something like that. This is the furthest we've ever seen in the FNAF timeline. So in these photos, there are photos of Cade in this black light arena, and this arena is called Lally's Game. And Cade's mom says that it was his favorite when he was younger. And Lally is basically this animatronic that accompanies lonely children. You could say there's a connection there between like Lally and Lonely Freddy. I feel like they work very similarly. Oh, and the and the Freddy from um, the Cliffs, I guess. That's uh, eh, kind of. I always thought Lonely Freddy and the Freddy from the Cliffs were kind of similar anyway. So I guess you could say that. Now, apparently one day Lally disappeared. There was this whole mystery and someone got hurt, but Kay doesn't want to talk about it. We'll get back to that in the near, well, later in the video. Now we time skipped all the way to when they get married. So they've got married. Selena tries then to open the trunk until Cade walks in on her and he panics. He's like, no, no, no. Did you open the trunk? I swear to God, if you open the trunk, you <laughs> And Selena is like, okay, I'll be honest, I was trying to open it. But when Cade goes to open it himself to check if whatever was in the box is still in the box, it, it it's empty. By the way, I keep saying box. It's kind of interesting to think about the fact that this trunk could represent the box in some way, could represent what was in the box, maybe... Well, we'll get onto that at the end of the video. <laughs> so, Cade then cries because where you open my box and uh, for a week, for a whole week, Cade starts getting up in the night and checking loads of closets and cabinets and uh, Selena notices this and she's like, you are acting very sus. So Selena confronts Cade. What the heck are you doing? Why are you getting up in the middle of the night and checking everywhere? There is this story that the Mega Pizza Plex was actually going under renovations scaffolding like basically collapsed into the Lally's Game arena and Lally followed Cade home after that. He saw it everywhere. That's a bit like friendly face, I guess. He just saw it everywhere. And so what he did, well, he managed to lure it into this trunk. He managed to lure it. He managed to encapsulate it uh, and, the, and fuse and transport and extract it. <laughs> I'm joking. That's just the blueprints of Lefty. Um, so but on my second page now, Selena is feeling paranoid now. So basically this entire stuff happened. Cade 
is now talking to Selena properly about who the hell Lally is and the fact that Lally has disappeared from the box. So she is out, probably going to kill some people or something. <laughs> um, but that's not confirmed yet. So Selena is very paranoid at this point in time. She is feeling like she is being watched all the time. And then one day Lally reveals herself in front of Selena, but disappears when Selena is like, Kane, okay, come here, I found Lally. She just disappears, or he did. I think Lally is a he, rather than a she. So that's, that's a good thing to know. Um, Cade's mom then talks about, well, finally talks about what actually happened back then when uh, the Lally incident happened. So Lally is basically this toy that is unable to move. It's for lonely kids and the kids play hide and seek with the Lally doll. They basically hide the, the doll wherever in the arena and they have to find, the other kids have to find it. Um, see, Cade felt extremely special with Lally. I guess Cade was a very lonely child. Um, and he got annoyed when this other kid called Daniel played with the Lally. The game is only for two, says uh, Cade. And then Danny was killed in an incident. Now, <laughs> I have a feeling Cade feels guilty even though it wasn't necessarily Cade's fault. But let me finish this story and then you can make your opinion on, on your theories and stuff. So, Cade makes a warning to Selena that if Selena was to upset Lally, then uh, she's going to end up in the trunk, basically. Uh, and she does not want that to happen. No, neither of them want that to happen. Why, why would they want that to happen? Um, Selena asks if, if Cade actually killed uh, Daniel and he replies with it was Lally. Selena doesn't believe him. She smashes a lamp or something against his head. I, I can't really remember the details. I didn't write it down for some reason. Uh, and then she runs away and hides in the closet. And then she hears someone saying hi from behind her in the closet. That's not the end of the story. I, I was just doing that for dramatic effect. Selena screams. Cade hears Selena scream and runs to see the trunk with something in it. I'm assuming it's Selena's th th remains. And uh, Lally whispers to Cade, the, the game is only for two. But once again, it isn't over. And <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually getting shivers on my skin while I read this. This is actually, what? I'm, I'm actually paranoid. Um, because the ending, that's not the ending. The ending is that <laughs> we're in the far future now. We are further into the future, maybe in the 20 flipping eighties. I don't know. Cade is now married to a new girl called Debbie and she notices this weird trunk when they're moving in together. And Cade pulls her away from the trunk. I thought I smashed the wall for a minute. Guys, I love that. I love that ending so, so much. It reminds me of the new kid. I think it's, it might even be the new kid done better. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think of the new kid. I think the new kid is uh, weak in some areas and strong in others. But the ending where, you know, Cade, it, it, it's apparent that Cade does this to multiple people, I guess. And it's like an, a loop. I love those sorts of endings where it's a massive twist at the end. Cade had something to do with all of this. It must be have been like Cade's plan or something. It can't have been just Larry's doing. It can't have been like Cade, oh, there's just an accident. Um, there's something going on here and, you know, Kel there's something going on with Kelsey, there's something going on with Cade and I don't know what it is, but this story was wonderful. Wow, I actually like, <laughs> actually almost broke my notebook by throwing it at the wall so hard. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love that story. I don't know about you guys, that's 
wonderful. Well, uh, I got two things to point out, really. And, okay, the first one I didn't really say while I was summarizing it. Um, it doesn't even say it on the summary of the wiki. But a lot of the times through the story, there is a shadow. Uh, especially near the end where, like, Lally is talking. There's a shadow. Um, especially when, um, when Lally at the end is like, the game is only for two. It's a shadow talking to to Cade with like glowing eyes, uh, looking down, kind of. I think that's how it, how it was anyway. Um, and I think people are theorizing that this is like the shadow from Fazbear Frights, kind of like the height and seek shadow. A lot of people are saying that Eleanor is this shadow figure or whatever. Also, the shadow from You're the Band could come into play here. But I do bring up the shadow from Hide and Seek because. Hide and seek is actually directly mentioned in this story and I'm not just saying people playing hide and seek I'm saying the actual arcade game from the, the story hide and seek is mentioned in this story That's insane, no? So it's pretty much confirmed that this story takes place in the Fazbear Frights timeline but if it takes place in the Fazbear Frights timeline and it's in the Mega Pizza Plex, it has to take place in the game timeline. See, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get a few people confused here as well because in this book series there are multiple pizza plexes. So there is one main pizza plex that is called the Mega Pizza Plex. But aside from that, there's other mini pizza plexes that other stories will take place in. So you've got to kind of like pay attention to which one we're in. I think this is the Mega Pizza Plex. I actually could be wrong. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the Mega Pizza Plex. I wrote it down anyway. So let me know what you think of this story. Um, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I actually think it's genuinely my favorite story in the series so far. I thought Frailty was amazing, but Lally's game, oh my God, it's actually, mwah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, tell me what you think, subscribe, blah 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 blah, bye.